Welcome to Wahe Presents The Outside View, co-powered by Fantasy Akhara and Swara. And here we are with a new T20I series between England and India. The series is here and so I have the expert Mohit Shah with me. Welcome Mohit. Thank you so much. So a lot of anticipation for this series because uh, India are back after the Commonwealth Games. They are going to play this series. Uh, how do you see it, uh, especially with the overnight news that has come of Max Siver not being part of the England uh, squad as she has taken an indefinite break uh, due to her mental health. Uh, is that something that we were expecting? She has said that uh, it has been a lot of tireless months of cricket that she has gone through, which makes sense. But how do you see this decision? Does it bring more questions into should the system of cricket look a little bit more to its elite players such as Nat Siver? Yeah, definitely. I think like every team should have a full-time psychologist with them because the pressure is always increasing in cricket nowadays and most of these players are playing non-stop for 7, 8, 9 months. Like at least Nat Siver has been on the treadmill for quite some time now. And also like the challenge of playing all those great knocks and then finishing up on the losing side. So it's something that gets to any player and I think she's also said this in the past that the problem for her has been switching off from cricket when she's not playing. So even when she's not playing, she sometimes ends up thinking too much about cricket and that is like a very legitimate problem that anybody can have. So I think it's obviously the right decision for her and she should take as much time as she needs to get back. But at the same time, like it's obviously a big blow for England because she's probably their number one player and they were already missing the services of Heather Knight and Catherine Grant. I think since India beat them at the Commonwealth Games as well, I think it's fair to say India are probably the favourites for at least the T20I series to begin with. Very rightly said, Mohit. India are looking like favourite with all the key uh, English players missing out this time round. But uh, having said that, Amy Jones has been drafted in as the captain of this team. How do you see her as a captain? She has done it before in the 100. Uh, what do you expect from her? Yeah, like you rightly said, she's done it before in the 100, but she didn't have a lot of success as captain, which is why the team went in a different direction this year. But at the same time, like we know, wicket keepers tend to play a very important role in any team. So I think she already is a part of the leadership group in that team because she's now been the wicket keeper for quite some time now, ever since Sarah Taylor retired. She plays all three formats. So, and like, I think she's one of the more experienced players and with a team which has a lot of youngsters, sometimes it's just good to go to an experienced player. And I think Matt Siver has in the past indicated that captaincy is probably not something that she enjoys a lot. And with Heather Knight now being injured, this is a good chance for Amy Jones to show that she can probably be the next England captain. Having said that, let's shift the conversation to India. They, they were quite impressive with the Commonwealth Games where they ended up with a silver medal. Uh, could, could could have been a gold as well if not for the collapse that happened in the final. But uh, there were a few issues that we were we were talking about uh, in the Indian T20I side that is especially with the finishers role. Uh, India have gotten some new players in. They've got uh, Himlata, they've got uh, Kiran Navgare. Do you see them sort of uh, filling the spot for the finishers role? Is that something that India should focus on? What should be their focus heading into this season? Yeah, definitely. I think like the five, six, seven positions are key for the Indian team because you have Smriti, Shafali, Harman and Jemi at the top and those four are more or less certain selections. So I think like the aim is to like give more opportunities to somebody like Richa Ghosh and one out of Kiran Nafire and Dayalan Himlata and along with Pooja Vastrakar, those like whoever gets selected out of those three players have the potential to like fill in that finishing void for India because uh, Kiran Nafire hasn't really batted at that position for some time now but with her big hitting, it's probably a role that might suit her and as far as Richard Ghosh and Himlata are concerned, they are more accustomed to batting in those positions than say the problem that we were talking about before the Commonwealth Games where your one, two, three batters who generally bat in the top three were being asked to bat at those number five, number six kind of roles. So I definitely think like this is a good move. Like India should now just give them a sustained run. Like pick whoever you want to go with, like be it Richa or uh, Kiran Nafire and then give them a sustained run in the team. Like give them three or five matches in a row at least to show what they've got. 
T20s are going to be quite an interesting event. We hope so. It's going to start on the 10th, uh, and uh, stay tuned to all the coverage on Women's Big Zone. Uh, till then, cheers from us uh, of the Y Presence, the outside view, Kopa, or by Fantasy Akhara and Swara.